hey guys welcome back to my channel so because the last time you guys seen me um was a few days ago on this vlog and i was in new york i'm now in la los angeles with menelik say hi menelik what's up y'all and we i just flew here i just got here yesterday night and it's now the next day of course the next morning but let me tell y'all oh my god this is like a mini story time to sit y'all here because <sighs> okay so first things first i when i booked my flight i booked it through united right me and manila booked my flight together um and i don't really fly united like that like united's not really my thing so i don't really fly that airline like that so Anyway, booking my flight, um, I had booked Economy Plus, and I had, we had booked, um, we thought the, 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 our booking said that the plane was going to be a new plane, right? So that's one. Just remember that. So anyway, I get to the airport, and this day that I was going to the airport, which was yesterday, I was having so, like, my allergies was so bad, you guys. Like, it was so bad. My sinus was hurting so bad. So then I get to the airport, and um, I get the, the the little, like, you know, tags to put on my bag. You know, they got, like, self-check-in or whatever. So I do that, and um, I guess my bags were overweight. They weighed my bags after. I guess they were overweight, and um, they had to basically cancel the tags that I had because I didn't pay for overweight and they had to do it themselves to apply the overweight fee so they're like oh you know your bags are really overweight plus you have extra luggage um so sometimes i do fly first class so i get like all that luggage for free but this time i didn't i'm like okay like i'll just pay the luggage fee like i have extra bags so whatever like it was really nothing to me because i usually always have to pay for overweight bags like i always do that um so anyway, so the guy that was checking me in or whatever, he had to like basically refund all the money that I already purchased for my check bags and do it all over to apply the overweight fee. So he's doing it and he's like, he has this whole thing about him that it's going to be so expensive and like that's ridiculous. But like, why are you worried about it? Like, what are you worried about it for? It's not your money. Like regardless of the overweight fee i have to pay it because where else am i i can't like open my bags put other stuff other places um so yeah he's like having this whole thing that he's like shaking his head and like <sighs> like but why are you worried about it so i didn't pay that no mind like seriously i didn't pay it no mind like i was just like whatever dude like i don't have the energy to entertain this like my sinus hurts you get what i'm saying i don't even have the energy to talk so um he tells me the overweight fee and i pay it i pay the fee for my bags plus the overweight fee so fine um so he does the little tickets things that you know go on the bags with my ticket number and my baggage number to track it and all of that stuff so he does all of that and he has all four of my bags together right why i land yesterday i'm at baggage claim and one of my bags is not here there's a black bag i don't have any black hard case bag there's a black hard case bag with my tag on it how 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 did how did that happen how did it happen that one of my bags is all the way in brazil right now and i have his bag how did my tag get on there if you have on my bags right here you're you're working with me printing out my bags you put the tags on my bag and i watch it go on the belt how does that happen like that literally makes no sense to me like and it's just i'm just so frustrated that i was literally in the airport literally in tears because for one this is my stuff this anybody would be like nervous you get what i'm saying like this is my stuff and that's just really messed up like how are you so careless why do you even have someone else's tag in your hand while you're working with me and working with my bags like that's so careless to me like i already went through this yesterday i had a whole thing yesterday i broke down in the airport i was by myself and i just like had a whole 
panic attack because wow like how can you be so careless like people who work at the airlines need to be a little more careful this is people's stuff people People work hard for the stuff that they have in these bags. They're traveling other places. They're moving other places. Like, this is people's stuff. You get what I'm saying? And I'm not just saying me. This is stuff that other, like, this happens to other people. I've posted about it online already. And everyone's like, oh, this happened to me and all of that stuff. So, I, it, it's been happening. And it's like, how are you so careless? Like, I know mistakes happen. But, like, why do you have someone else's tag and my tag? Ugh. Just talking about it, I'm getting upset again. So, anyway, I called this morning. So, um, they filed a claim on my bag. And um, they took his bag. And I called this morning to check in. And they said that the guy landed in Brazil. He took two flights to get to Brazil. And he left from the same airport as me. And um, it landed at 9 a.m. today which it's now like 4 p.m. in Brazil right now. So I'm trying to figure out what's taking the airline so long to call United to say that they have my bag. Like, it's 4 p.m. But the thing about it is that we know his name and they have his name and they have the location that he went to. So something is telling me that they might have more information, but they're just not really telling me because they need to like do more stuff or whatever. But they told me his name and stuff like that. So... If they would know that, then you get what I'm saying? Like, how else would they know if the guy didn't turn my bag in? So I'm just praying and hoping that I get my stuff back. And the guy is a kind person like I am to return my stuff. Because no one wants to go through this. Like, all of my stuff is in there, you guys. Like, all of my designer shoes and my designer handbags are in there. Life. I'm breathing. He's breathing. My family's breathing. His family's breathing. Okay? That's literally the bigger picture. So, I'm trying not to, like, make this a whole thing, even though it is nerve-wracking. But, you know, I'm trying to stay positive and just look on the brighter side of things. So, um, me and Menelik are about to go out today. I barely have shoes right now, but I'm gonna probably just buy some Air Force Ones because that's what I need. I just need Air Force Ones. We are trying, still trying to actually search for the bag. We're still trying to locate the bag. It's a green color bag. Let me just check where the trail begins from. You flew from Newark to Los Angeles. Let me just look for matches. Yeah, I need the contents of the bag now. So what, what information do you need? The, what are the items that are inside the bag? Do you have any update on the bag, on the luggage? No. We are still trying to locate the bag. It has not been located yet. Earlier, I called for an update, and they told me that they have the person's name and the flight that they were on. So you guys haven't got in contact with him at all? Or the airline? Uh, okay, yes, from we tried to contact that person, but it's not your potential match. He, uh, the other person did not get, uh, take your bag, ma'am, because the latest remark says that there is no evidence that your bag was taken by that passenger. So we are still trying to locate the bag. A lot more time, we have already shared some contents of the bag. We will look for matches at both the airports and then forward it and get it delivered so so wait so earlier you guys told me that you guys had a name and a location for the bag meaning it landed at the airport in brazil at 9 a.m and now you're telling me you don't have any of that information i am not telling you that ma'am because there are remarks that were added by the airport it says that there is no evidence that your bag was forwarded to Rio. How is there no evidence if they told me already? Did you receive a call from uh, um, airport? Earlier, yes. And they told me that they was gonna get in contact with the airline. So how are you saying that there is no evidence if I already have this information? 
I just want to update. You're not telling me anything. Let me just repeat the information that I've already provided you. Uh, you received a call from Los Angeles Airport that someone took the bag and took to you, right? Yes. Okay, let me just call the airport and verify with them. However, the airport updated the remark from the file mark. Say that we see no evidence that Ms. went to Rio with customer name. And they have checked all the areas, but they could not find any up information or any potential match at the airport. I will still try to call the airport and verify with them. This doesn't make any sense. You think I'm gonna get my bag? Yes. Why is he saying that? Like, how did I get an update earlier, but now he's saying that's not true? Did they call you or did you call them? I called them. It's a bag. They, like... Now they're saying there's no evidence of the bag. How does that make any sense? <sighs> I'm really getting hot, for real. Like, I just want my stuff. <sighs> you guys, I just want my stuff. Like, seriously. Hello? Hello? Hi, um, so you guys, hello? I can barely hear you. Maybe something's wrong with our phone. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? This is baggage service. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, now I could, yes. I'm, wow. I lost my bag and it got switched at the airport and someone else has my bag and I filed a claim with you guys and I wanted an update on my bag. Okay, you need to call, um, this is not where, is it, this is not where you call. You need to call the 800 number. I did and he connected me to you. No, he's not supposed to do that. Who is this? Who is this? We only, we only talk to the bag, to the 800 people. They're the ones that's supposed to give the customer the information. Who is this? Who is this? Who am I speaking with? A customer of United. Are, do you work at U, the United Airport in LA? Uh, hold on a second. I'm confused. Why am I on hold? This is ghetto. I'm still on the phone. It's about to be five minutes that I'm still sitting on hold. This is crazy. I've been on the phone for 10 minutes. Well, why does she have me on hold is the question. Because you don't want to talk to you? I think you're asking to be transferred to an agent, but if you answer just a few questions, I can quickly help you with your request. Let's try again. Okay, one last question before I transfer you. Are you Hi, um, I just called to check on my bags about 10 minutes ago. Um, somebody switched my bags with someone else at the airport and um, supposedly one of my bags is somewhere else and I have his. Um, but I just called 10 minutes ago and the guy that I was on the phone with, he was being awfully rude and then he connected me to the airport, the actual airport that I was at when he wasn't supposed to do that. All I really wanted was an update on my claim. You have a reference number, reference yes, uh, earlier I called um, and I asked for an update and they told me that the bag had landed in Brazil. And then when I just got off the phone with this guy, he told me that he basically told me like none of that is true. 
which I'm I'm just really confused. Like they mistagged the bag. Correct. So the us so I guess what they thought was the other passenger's bag, which is really your bag, that bag is going to reveal. They, so that that's their correct bag. Yeah. So but it's tagged under someone else's name, so that's why um yeah, so they put another passenger name on your bag. Correct. So technically your bag is going to Brazil, yes. That part is correct. So it's not there already? Where? It's in, it's in Brazil now. They haven't sent it back yet. But did they, did they say like, yeah, this is her bag and like... Yes, they have it there. Yeah. Oh, okay, so, so that's what, step is for us. That's what I was asking the guy earlier. I'm like, okay, like, do they have it, though? And he's like, I'm not sure, but this was earlier. He's like, it's in Brazil, and we're just waiting for the airline to call us. Okay, yeah, so they have it, and they know they need to send it out. So most likely it's going to be sometime tomorrow. Um, nothing is happening right now. We just know they have it in Brazil. Okay, <sighs> thank you. Have a nice night. So you guys, I just finished <laughs> going in on social media. Oh my God. It's not funny how many victims are in my DM right now who are victims of United Airlines. I will never fly them ever again. And let me tell you, I don't usually fly that airline. I think I flew it one time before and I told me like, like I'm never flying United ever again. And even when I was at the carousel getting my bags, my bags didn't even come yet. I was on the phone with Menelik because I call him as soon as I land every time. I'm like, Menelik, I'm never flying this airline. And then the whole fiasco of my bag being missing happened. Why are you not telling me where my bags is and you're telling me that it's not in Brazil and you're telling me that no one, you don't, they, y'all don't have it. Why are you doing that? And you're connecting me to someone that I don't even know who this is which I guess it was LAX, United LAX. And I'm like, who's this? And she's like, who's this? Like, what do you mean? I'm a customer. Oh, I'm just, I'm really, I'm really, really, really sick of this airline. And I'm really tired of people. Like, I'm really trying to be mature about this, but they're really making me upset. And I'm getting annoyed. Like, at this point, it's not, I'm not, I'm not even upset because of my bags. I'm upset because of how I'm being treated. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like they're treating me. The they they're not treating customers right. This is not okay. Like, they're not treating you like they lost your bag. They're treating you like yeah, they're not lost it. it. That's what I said on my stories. Like, it's literally their fault. Like, they treat people like crap, and it's their fault. Like, this is not my fault. This is you guys' fault. Like, it's just not okay, and I'm just. <sighs> Menelik likes to fly United. I don't fly United. No, I don't. I only fly United because of you. How do you fly United? Because Cause you... I fly JetBlue, Menelik. Joy, from New Jersey to LA, it's only United. So but... it's not. So it's no JetBlue, is what no, you're telling me. From Jersey me. to LA, no, it'd be JetBlue sometimes, but Jersey to LA, it'd be United flights. Uh, so how do you? I I know that. And then but you how told are you? Me it was okay. No, I said I didn't like it. You know that. I said I like JetBlue Mint, and you know that. You don't remember the one you And you said you don't like JetBlue. You said you like United because they no, feed you. I like Delta. I, I don't, don't like, like United. United. <laughs> Me either. Don't say I like that shit. I do Delta. You bro. like Delta. I like JetBlue. Yeah, and my second pick after Delta. I never JetBlue. had a problem with JetBlue, ever. Yeah, I, I get, I, like, they treat me like royalty, especially when the I book The only time I ever had a problem in my life was United. Yes, and I, you know how many people there are in my DMs saying that they have the same problem with United? Like, United there's so many people. Everyone that's in my DMs is saying, they did the same thing to me. This happened to me with United. Don't ever fly with them again. I, like, I tell everyone this. Everyone knows not to fly with United. Like, and then the seats that I booked weren't even the seats that I was supposed to get. Wait, this is the second time I did that. I'm never flying with them again. This is like never flying with them again. I'm not doing this no more. 
I'm actually pissed off, but I can't even get out of character. There's no point to it, therefore. It is a point to because I'm upset, but I can't find myself to even get out of character because I'm mature now. <laughs>